It is Thursday, August 11th, and I'm here to talk about the live cattle market. The live cattle in the October con contract closed at its highest level that we've seen since April 22nd. This is coming despite really lackluster export sales that we saw uh, reported Thursday morning, but we also had in the last two days some signs of inflation maybe starting to simmer down just a little bit. CPI numbers came in lower than expected on Wednesday, as did PPI numbers coming in lower than expected on Thursday. And the idea behind that is that might embolden some consumers to go to their, their grocery store, their go to their butcher's counter, and maybe pick up some of those higher price cuts of meat once again. So um, looking forward, maybe a little bit more optimism on our domestic demand. In the meantime, uh, we did also see cash cattle trade higher in the last 24 hours. Uh, the higher cash cattle uh, generally has a tendency to have a pull effect, a higher pull effect on, on the futures market as well. So that's good news. But on the other side of that equation, we've also seen box beef uh, prices coming down and they're at the lowest level that we've seen since May 25th. So that's going to put a little bit of a damper on, on Packers margins. And that could mean that they're not willing to pay up for higher cash cattle, higher animals for next week. That will be interesting to see. Uh, and we are really getting a bit overbought on the uh, on the live cattle chart. So a lot of sort of conflicting things happening at the moment. Overall, cattle have been in an uptrend. Will it continue? Will it take a correction? I don't know. We'll have to see. It's going to be a very interesting uh, couple weeks going forward in the cattle market. So once again, Ted Seifert from Zaner Ag Hedge coming to you here on uh, Thursday, August 11th. Have a, have a great Friday, everybody, and have a wonderful weekend.